something wrong with this picture here? Oh, no, there isn't. Uh, now that you're here. Mm. Well, don't tell me that you're skipping out on your graduation. Well, if all I have to do is walk across stage in a cap and gown, shake hands with the mayor, and get my diploma, walk off, and that makes my parents happy, I decided I can do that. I wish I would have gone to my high school graduation. Why didn't you? I was a little too cool then. Yeah, I didn't understand that graduation only happened once. You know, I didn't really have family waiting in line to watch either, so. Things I know how lucky I am, that's why I'm going. And besides, I need to be a good example for Morgan and Christina needs me too. You know, Madison's been a lot harder on her than she's uh, willing to admit. You're a good big brother. I'm trying. I'm trying. Because so all we have to do is just stand around on the stage and wait for our name to be called and get really embarrassed when our parents cheer too loud. <laughs> yeah, your family can be a little intense. Then you think? <laughs> yeah, they, uh, they love me though. And me officially graduating from high school, that's, that's, that's going to mean a lot to them. Well, you have to do this for yourself too, Michael. Not just for your family. Yeah, yeah I guess. You're not going to get this day back. Yeah. And a few years from now, it's going to be important to you. Even if it doesn't seem like it right now. Might I remind The thing about going to Madison is that it's over. Uh, and that I, I was able to help Christina through it, too. When did you start there? It's your junior year, right? Junior year. Man, that must have been difficult. Such a competitive school. Uh, it wasn't the grades, really. It was... Uh, is After I got a Penville, all the kids were scared of me. Yeah. And they were pretty hard on Christina, too. Especially after what happened with Kiefer. It seems like Christina has friends, though. Yeah, she does. She does. I mean, I, I could have made more friends myself, too. Some of the kids were nice. It's just uh, the things they cared about didn't really interest me whatsoever. Like, like who's going out with who and, and who's getting into what college, all that kind of stuff. Well, maybe you can work a little harder to make some friends at PCU. <laughs> nice try, Abby, but uh, I'm not going. Okay, well, I'm going to save that lecture for tonight after you graduate. Maybe you want to stop by? Well, you're not going? That's a family day. Abby, if you're not going, I'm not going. You don't mean that. Yeah. Look, you would mean a lot to me if you were there. I thought you'd never ask. I told you I'd go through the ceremony. It wasn't about to back out my word. No, I'm the one who almost missed it. You won't believe what happened. I'll fill you in on the details later. But uh, just so you know, Mom and Dad are both in overdrive. But you're in trouble and I'm not? When does that happen? Oh, let's just say I need to make both parents very happy today. And I will, thanks to you. I would not have been able to survive for Madison without you. Oh, uh, don't give me too much credit. I had to finish high school as part of my parole. Well, if we can survive Madison, I'm sure PCU will be no problem. Yeah, it's, it's, it's strange how college admission works. You got waitlisted at Yale, and I got into PCU without even filling out an application. Well, as long as you got in, who really cares how it happened? Abby did it. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing how she's always looking out for me. Meaning? Well, she finally admitted that she was the one who filled out the application and sent it in for me. That liar! I filled out that whole application! I'm the only reason you got into PCU! Oh. Well, you are so busted. Oh. You? Uh, hi! Hi, Molly. Hi. Uh, I knew you'd be here. Nothing would keep you away. Oh, well, I'm very glad to be here. Mom, you remember Abby from Uncle Sonny's wedding? Uh-huh. She's the love of Michael's life. Thank you. They've overcome terrible odds to be together. And now she's about to celebrate a major transition in Michael's life. Fate has brought them together. Mm, nothing can break them apart. Yeah, nothing. How about a little less hyperbole and let's have some manners here because we don't want her life to sound like a romance novel. <laughs> it's okay. I appreciate your enthusiasm. And it's nice to see both of you again. Diane uh, told me that you helped out with some of the research on my case. Thank you. You're very welcome. It was getting pretty scary there for a little while. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm sure it's a relief for you to have that straightened out. Yes, I feel like I am getting a second chance. 
And now nothing can stop you. Not your past life, not being framed for murder, How do not you know society's about that? expectations, or the fact that you're so much older than the man you adore. Molly. Not Michael's mother, or even Uncle Sonny can stand in the path of your one true love. Oh my god. I'm not sorry I sent in that application. Molly wrote your essays. If she'd written mine, it probably would have gotten into Yale. But at least we'll be going to PC together. That's some consolation. No, I haven't decided if I'm going or not. You have to go. I need you. It's not like I'm going to leave town or anything. Come on. I understand about wanting to live your own life. Now more than ever. But don't rule out college, Michael. You may need it someday. Just in case you decide not to be the world's biggest mobster. Look, this day is about making our parents happy, right? Let's not talk about our futures. I'm just saying. Even though you hated high school, you turned out to be pretty good at it. Who knows? Maybe college will be the same. You're not going to let this go, are you? I will. Once you agree to go to PC with me. No promises, okay? <laughs> no, definitely not okay. Now, before the ceremony begins, the board of directors wishes to extend its thanks to Melinda Bauer for her generous endowment of a scholarship to be awarded to a worthy scholar athlete in memory of her late son, Kiefer Bauer. I just want this to be over. That was nice of Kiefer's mom, endowing a scholarship. I'm sure she'd rather spend the money on Kiefer if you hadn't gotten him killed. You back off. It's okay, Michael. Some loser beat up Christina. Okay, Kiefer got the blame and ended up dead. Ethan never hit me. Then why did you say he did? She didn't have to explain herself to you. I was trying to protect him. Oh, sure you were. That's why he's dead. <sighs> Kiefer could have done so much better than you. Everybody tried to tell him. But Kiefer was an abusive pig. If Kiefer did hit Christina, she deserves it. Hey, I was starting to worry about you. Yeah, just had a little delay. Nothing serious. Wow, they hand out uh, binoculars with these seats. The usher seemed a little confused. We're supposed to have an entire block of seats right near the front. Well, it's okay. At least we can still see the stage. As I stand here today, about to introduce one of the most promising classes that Madison has ever produced, I am honored, I'm humbled, and I'm deeply proud. These spectacular young people are the bright promise of hope that will lead us into the future. In the words of John Quincy Adams, if your actions inspire another to learn...